the Morgengrat Elves. We are going to do applications on the cosinus rule that we did yesterday. So let's quickly look at the first sketch. The question is determine the value of QR. So you take your um, palette pen and we're going to mark it as a small p, a small r and a small q. And then after you've marked it on the sketch, you can write down your formula by starting with p squared. p squared equals q squared plus r squared minus 2qr cos of um, big P. Okay, now we can do substitution. So, we must perform on super P quadrat, on Z for Q quadrat, so this 22 quadrat plus 28 quadrat minus 2 mol, 22 mol, 28 and the cos van hoek P, wat 97 graden. Dan kan je dit in je zakrekenaar en sleutel en dan krijg ons die waarde van p kwadraat. Waarde van p kwadraat gaan we eens 1418. En remember, you can't round over here because that's not p yet. It's p square. So you write the whole answer that you get on your calculator. Uh, 143031. And then you get the square root, and then can you afrond two decimal places. That's 37,661 in the middle. And that's the QR. That's being asked. Can rewrite it. Okay, very easy to apply the cosine rule. Let's look at the next example. Take your colored pens and mark your sketches um, as a, a small a, a small c, and a small b. Then you can write your cosine as theta. Uh, we need angle a, so we're going to start with small a. So we're going to say a quadrat is like on. B quadrat plus C quadrat minus 2 B C cos van A. On the hoograad elves, if you do not mark this on your sketch, you may not write the theorem as that. Want hoe gaan hulle dan weet waar kom die klein A en die B en die C vandaan? So you must go and mark it on your sketch before you write your, your, your rule down. So a square, small a square, 16 square, equals small b square, plus small c square, minus 2 b c, cos of angle a. So to get the angle a, we'll have the following. We'll have 16 square minus 19 square minus 9 square. Okay, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it the right way. If we take that to the other side of the equals 2, it becomes positive. So you can take the 2, 19 times 9 to this side of the equals 2. Then, if you take this to the other side of the equals 2, it becomes a minus, plus, and a minus. Uh, plus, because it stays on that side of the equals 2. Right, so grad else. So, with other words, as you cos A alone on the one hand will have, then you can work 19 quadrat plus 9 quadrat minus 16 quadrat, gedeeld weer. 2 mal 19 mal 9. En dan gaan jy jou antwoord kry van cos A as 31 op 57. 31 op 57. So you need to get 
the angle A, so you're going to put your calculator in reverse mode, and you're going to put in 31 on 57, that's going to give you your angle A, and that gaan dan wees in your two plakken af rond, hoek A is 57,05. Good. Okay, the last one. Exactly the same as this one, but there's now commas on the side length. So it's one net precise the self to do. The frog is I mut for hook L bereken. So I'm gonna start with small L. Let's start there. Small K, small L, and small N. Okay, so Let's write down our rule. We've got to start with small l squared equals m squared plus k squared minus 2mk uh, because of big L. So again, we're going to do substitution. L squared is going to be 5,9 squared equals m squared, 3,1 squared, plus k squared, 4,3 squared, minus 2, m, times k, cos of l. So now we're going to do exactly the same thing, we're going to cos l again on the other side, so met ander woorde, hy word positief, so hierdie word 3,1 kwadraat plus 4,3 kwadraat, if you take that to the other side of the equals 2, it becomes a negative, en dan deel ons dit met 2 maal 3,1, 4,3, en dan kry ons ons antwoord, voordat ons mag afrond, as, Minus 0,25. There's our negative answer. 16879, 16879.22. When you get a negative answer in cases like that, that means this is an obtuse angle. That betekent the answer that I get must be from 90 to 180 degrees of track. So I go down. If you do your second function, you're going to put in the cos, second function, of 0.25, what are, what are the whole thing, and that angle that you're going to get, you're going to subtract from 180 degrees, and that's going to give you 104,48 degrees. Graag 11, onthoud dit. As jy hier een negatieve antwoord krijg, beteken dit, dit is een stompboek. En dan, as jy jou second function doen, en jy sit nie jou negatief in nie, dan gaan jy een skerboek krijg, en dan moet jy om eerst, dan moet jy om aftrek van 180 graden, om een stompboek te krijg. Ok, goed, kom ons gaan oefen ons kosreel. Sien jy nou morgen.